Hello and welcome to the Complete Beginner's Guide to Using Inkscape for Illustration in the Sciences, Medicine and Engineering, brought to you by a retired postdoc. This is a course created for absolute beginners to illustration and covers the very basics you will need to know to communicate your research and discoveries using illustrative artwork. So, whether you are a student, a postdoc, an expert, whether you are just starting out or you are more experienced, or just someone looking into leveraging the skills we will be learning here for your own private or professional work, well, this is the perfect playlist for you. And I will show you every step of the way. It is super, super easy. And it is super cheap to start today too. All the tools we'll be using are free or open source alternatives of commercial tools or very cheap commercial tools. We will mostly be using a free software called Inkscape, which is used in the same light like Adobe Illustrator to produce artwork for journals such as Nature, Cell, Science, The Lancet, the New England Journal of Medicine, Chemical Reviews, and many more journals. I have structured the course this time around in four main sections such that you should be able at any time to skip to a section with more relevance to your subject area or level of expertise. In this series, we'll be starting from the very basics and working our way through 99 episodes to learn all the theory behind vector graphic illustrations as you will need for your thesis or publication. We will begin with skills that are useful for everybody like setting up documents, making a data figure for publications, posters for conferences, and finally basic illustration skills, and then niche down to skills useful for the life sciences, the chemical sciences, and finally those of particular relevance to engineering, math, and physics. To help you easily navigate the playlist, I have structured the course into four sections. After the 99 videos introducing the theory of Inkscape, we would have illustration tutorials grouped into different subject areas. Life Sciences and Medicine from video 100, Chemical Sciences from 200, and Engineering from 300. So, what other tools are we going to use? We will mostly be using Inkscape. However, to make this a holistic experience, we will be using other tools like Qt Plot, Cy Davis and R for plotting and statistics, GIMP, Fiji, ImageJ for images, and Scribus for fixing CMYK issues or for typesetting. So, what is Inkscape? Inkscape is a free illustration software. With this software, you can create two-dimensional vector graphic diagrams, data figures, illustrations, academic posters, infographics, logos, flyers, brochures, banners, marketing material, or even web graphics. It also has lots of other capabilities as well. For example, people have used it to draw game sprites or for paper scrapbooking. It is also used to draft web design mockups, detailed layouts for printed circuit boards, or produce outline files to send to laser cutting equipment. But the scope of this course will be limited to data figures, illustrations, posters, and academic infographics. The audience for this course may be very broad, so for all of you out there who are students or into academic projects, we'll begin by learning the basics of Inkscape and moving on to learn how to create a data figure and a poster, things you often need for your academic communication. 
We will then move on to learn about image composition in general and how you could leverage these skills to make your figure or poster stand out. And when I talk about image composition, we will be using principles like the rule of thirds, the golden ratio and other principles to make our graphic look professional. We will also learn about different color models the RGB space for screen and CMYK for print media. And we will also leverage our knowledge of colors to choose the right kind of color for our work. That is a scratch of the surface of what we are going to be learning on this course. Once you are ready, grab a coffee for the next lesson and we are going to be learning how to install different versions of Inkscape on the same computer.